Hi there. Thanks for joining us here at Philip Capital Market Watch. This is Chua Ming Han, CFD dealer from Philip Securities. Today, we will be sharing on a rare opportunity in the US market that you should not miss out on. Before diving into the main topic today, I would like to give you an overview of the US market. Looking at the S&P 500 from the perspective of a long-term investor, we see that the market is still in an uptrend. The S&P 500 is pulling back to present an opportunity to those looking to add onto their portfolio. We know that the Fed is going to increase interest rates this year, but is it a reason for the market to turn bearish? Here is an image of historical Fed rates and US market prices. During interest rate hikes, there will be short-term knee-jerk reactions, after which the market will then proceed to continue to push up. In the previous Market Watch episodes, my teammates Jeremy and Si Han touch a bit on the US market as well. Jeremy talked about investing in quality companies, while Si Han gave a holistic outlook for the US market. Today, I will dive into one of the companies we are currently zooming in on. Costco is in the retail business and have been around since 1976. It has been on a consistent uptrend for a long period of time. How exactly did they manage to do so? Charlie Munger, partner of Berkshire Hathaway, is one of Costco's board of directors. In Costco's annual reports, you can find the statement below. Costco's core values of doing the right thing, operating efficiently, and providing great quality goods and services at very low prices. This is definitely a mark of a good business where all stakeholders win. With that, let us take a look at what they do, their outlook, and lastly, their consensus target price by analysts. So what does Costco do? They sell foods and sundries, non-foods, fresh foods, warehouse ancillary, and other businesses that complement their warehouse operations. Their business strategy, EDLP, Everyday Low Price, they seek to provide quality items at low prices to create value for their customers. They profit from selling the above merchandise while earning yearly subscription fees from clients who are members. This generates another source of revenue for the company. As a Costco member, clients get to enjoy cashback and other perks. Going forward, it is likely they will continue to grow as a business. So how does Costco continue to grow as a business? To put it simply, they will need one, increase sales per warehouse, and two, expand the number of warehouses. We can see that as the number of warehouses grew, Costco's average sales per warehouse continues to increase and remains high. Costco opened 22 new warehouses, including two relocations in 2021, and plans to open approximately up to 35 additional warehouses, including five relocations in 2022. This shows us that Costco has more room to grow as a company, proving it's worth to invest in. So, what is a good entry price? To find out the consensus target price, you can use our POEM stock analytics function. Right-click on the counter, choose the stock analytics. You may view the consensus target price on the top right-hand corner of the pop-up window. Consensus target price is the average of analysts' individual price targets. For Costco, we see that the consensus target price as of 17 January 2022 is $533.81. And the current price as of 14 January is $502.99. With the potential upside and its relatively good business model, we urge for you to consider Costco as a possible candidate for your portfolio. That's all for Philip Capital's Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave your comments below. Thanks for joining us and see you soon.